Masquerade! It's Masquerade! It's Masquerade! Woo woo! Masquerade! Yeah! <laughs> Very soon, Alice came upon a griffin lying fast asleep in the sun. Nearby, the mock turtle sat, looking sad and lonely. And as Alice drew nearer, she could hear him sighing as if his heart would break. What is his sorrow? she asked the griffin, and the griffin answered, It's all his fancy, that. He hasn't got no sorrows, you know. Come on, I want to teach you our favorite dance. The griffin bounded toward the mock turtle and said, Come on, old boy, tell her all about the lobster quadrille. The mock turtle sighed deeply and rose to his feet. Facing Alice, he spoke so slowly and sadly. You may not have lived much under the sea. I haven't, said Alice. And perhaps you were never introduced to the lobster. Alice began to say, I once tasted, then checked herself hastily and said, no, never. So you could have no idea what a delightful thing a lobster quadrille is, the mock turtle said sadly. No, indeed, said Alice. What sort of dance is it? Why, said the griffin, you first form into a line along the seashore. Two lines, cried the mock turtle. Seals, turtles, salmon, and so on. Then, when you cleared all the way jellyfish out of the way, that generally takes some time, interrupted the griffin. You advanced twice, directed the mock turtle, each with a lobster as a partner, change lobsters and retire in same order, continued the griffin. Then, you know, the mock turtle went on, you throw the lobster, shouted the griffin, with a bound in the air, as far out to sea as you can. Then swim after them, screamed the griffin. Back to land again, and that's just the first figure, said the mock turtle, suddenly dropping his voice, and the two creatures, who had been jumping about like mad things all this time, sat down again very sadly and quietly, and looked at Alice. That was a very pretty dance, said Alice timidly, 